Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we got some baby huntsman business, so let's get rolling. In, oh, oh, I forgot to take that off. In here is the female Beragama Cordata that I took home from Karanda. Let's get a closer look at her. Absolutely stunning spider. And she ended up laying an egg sack not long after I returned home from the trip. And to say I was excited when I saw that was to put it very mildly. Yeah, motherhood does not seem to be her thing. Screw defending your babies. You want to film them? I'm out. What I have noticed is that she seems to have lost a fair amount of hair during the period in which she was guarding her children. See arachnophobes, spiders and humans aren't all that different. So, her egg sac is free pickings. And there we go. Now, in case you're wondering why I take the egg sacs out instead of just leaving them with the mother, it's basically because if they hatch with the mother, then I'm going to have to get her out eventually. And when that time comes, good luck removing the mother without releasing half the babies too. So if I get the egg sac out early, I can basically move the babies into a more controlled area while they're still not really able to move around. So that makes life a lot easier. Just gonna cut the sack open. This is just like opening a Christmas present, except instead of being delivered by an overweight man in a red suit, it is being delivered by a spider. There we go, take a look at that. Well, needless to say, this egg sack was a success. My God, there are a lot of you. And judging by the black coloration on the legs, they're probably going to molt soon. So yeah, when it comes to huntsmen, often a telltale sign that they're about to molt, which is especially obvious when they're younger, is their coloration, especially on the legs, will become noticeably darker. Oh yes! Ah, oh, I'm happy. Very, very happy. So now that the sack is open, I'm just gonna leave them in here. They can come out in their own time, and on goes the lid. Now in case you're wondering what this very makeshift and crude setup is, essentially, it's just an enclosure, and this here is a hole that I've plugged with a, with a bit of tissue. And when it's feeding time, I'll just empty a, a whole bunch of small crickets into there and then of course quickly plug it up so I don't let any spiders escape. And while we're at it, I'll show you another clutch that's a bit further- oh it's upside down. That's a bit further along. These are Holconia nigrigularis. I did film the uh, pairing of the parents, and I think I posted the video probably a few weeks ago at this point. And oh look, there's one eating right there. So it's a very crude basic setup, and I'm still very much uh, a novice when it comes to raising baby huntsmen. But so far this has worked out pretty well for me. Okay, and now time to repeat the exact same thing with Neosporasus magarii. This is a species of huntsman from the Northern Territory. Really beautiful species as well, and pretty big too, so that's always a bonus. And as you can see, she has spun this incredible barrier that's pretty much encasing her in almost every direction. And that silk is actually very strong, so she's protected her and her egg sac very well there. Unfortunately, I am going to have to invade that. Sorry my lady, but it's for a good cause, I'll be looking after your babies. 
Just call this forced adoption or something, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull the sack out from between its legs. Uh, oh, that, that was a very bad choice of words. At least it's not a male, that makes it better, doesn't it? Um, okay, can you just move out of the way, please? Can, can you focus, please, camera? Yeah, move. Your time is over, mummy. Henceforth, these babies belong to me. You've done your bit, sweetheart. Let me take over from here. Oh, you're a bit clingy, are you? Oh yes, very clingy. Not actually being all that defensive either, she just doesn't really want to let go. Come on. Okay, so, okay, so you're a much better mother than the Beragama Cordata. That's good to know. Yeah, let that mama bear instinct kick in. Oh, never mind. How do I grab this thing without crushing it? And there we go. Sorry about that, but hey, at least you can go back to living a normal life now. All right, time for the moment of truth. Oh, it's looking promising. I can see little legs in there. It's a boy and it's a girl and there's more boys and there's more girls and there's hundreds probably. I don't know. Well, look at that, another very successful egg sack. Wow, that's a lot of babies. And as is pretty typical for Neosporasis species, they start out bright green. And nor are they the only huntsmen like this either. Typostola barbata, you might remember, which is that really big species, the babies are also bright green in that case too. Might be better for camouflaging against foliage. In you go little fellas. And they're just gonna disperse of their own accord now that I've cut the egg sac open and they're free to go wherever they wanna go. Oh, another one on the table that I missed. Off. Come on, hop off. I said hop off. Hop off, please. Go. <sighs> okay, that's that. I do have one more huntsman on a sack, but I'm not gonna separate those yet because she laid it a fair bit later than the other two, so they might not have developed yet. But anyway, this is a very big female Holconia imanis, and you might have seen the pairing in one of my recent videos. And she has laid an absolutely massive egg sac. And I think that when the time comes for me to open it, I'm probably going to be splitting the babies between two boxes, as opposed to just having them all together in one. Anyway, that is about it for this video. So let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to check out some of my other uploads. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching as usual, and I'll see you all again very soon.